So today we're going to be reading Pinkalicious. It's my favorite book, so get ready. <laughs> okay. Pinkalicious. It was a rainy day, too wet to go outside. Mommy said, let's make cupcakes. What color do you want? Pink, I said. Pink, pink, pink. <gasps> Mommy put in some pink. More, I cried. More, more, more. I gobbled up a couple of cupcakes with Mommy, and I frosted them. They were so yummy. They were pinkalicious. I offered one to Peter, <laughs> my little brother, but he is very pinky and didn't want to eat it. <gasps> Her brother didn't want any cupcakes. So guess what she did? She ate it. Oh, please mommy, can I have just one more? I begged when I woke up from my nap. You get what you get and you don't get upset. That's right. But I got so, 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 so upset. Uh oh. After dinner, I ate more cupcakes. Then I refused to go to bed. Just one more pink cupcake, and then I'll go to sleep. I promise. Daddy waved a tired finger at me. You have had enough. Mm -mm. <gasps> Uh-oh. The next morning, when I woke up, I was pink! My face was pink, my hands were pink, my belly was the color of sunset. Oh my goodness. Daddy thought I had played with markers, so he gave me a bath. The pink just didn't come off. Do we think the pink's gonna come off, guys? Let's see. My hair was the color of raspberry. I cried because I was so beautiful. I even had pink tears. I put on my pink fairy princess dress and twirled in front of the mirror while mommy speed dialed the pediatrician. I'm Pinker Bella, look at me. I'm Pinker Bella, I sing. Mommy grabbed her purse. Just one more cupcake. Please, just one more, I yelled on the way out the door. Mommy took me right to the doctor's office. Uh-oh. Dr. Wink looked at me and said, you have a very rare and accused case of pink eaties. <gasps> I guess that's not the worst thing that could happen. Just call me Pinker Bella. Then Dr. Wink said, for the next week, no more pink cupcakes, pink bubble gum, pink cotton candy. <gasps> Boo! To return to normal, you must eat a steady diet of green food. Uh, no more pink food, only green. On the way home, we stopped at the playground. My friend Allison was there, but she didn't see me because I blended in with the pink flowers. When I waved to Allison, a bumblebee landed on my nose. Bzzz. I'm not a flower. I looked at the bee and scolded. Soon, I was surrounded by bees, butterflies, birds. Mommy, I cried, please take me home right now. When we left the playground, I asked mommy if I could eat another pink cupcake when we get home. Don't you remember what the doctor told you, she said? No more cupcakes. Peter tugged at my pink tails. I wish I were pink like you, he said. He was so green with envy. That night, I pretended to eat my dinner of mushy, dark, green vegetables after everyone went to sleep. I sneaked into the kitchen, climbed onto a chair, and reached on my tippy toes to the top of the refrigerator where mommy had hidden the cupcakes. I took just one more pink cupcake and ate it. Then I licked the pink cupcake wrapper clean. When I woke up in the morning, I felt different. I ran to the mirror and peered at my reflection. I was a deeper pink than I had ever seen. In fact, I was no longer pink, but I was red! Oh no! I'm red, I screamed. I don't want to be 
red. I should not have eaten that pink cupcake last night. I wanted to be myself again, and I knew exactly what I had to do. <gasps> I opened the fridge, held my nose, and squeezed the bottle of icky green relish onto my tongue. I ate pickles, spinach, olives, and okra. I choked down artichokes, ugh, gagged on grapes, and burped up Brussels sprouts. Next thing I knew, my arms tickled, my ears tingled, and my feet were twitching. <gasps> uh -oh, let's see. I was no longer red. I was no longer pink. I was me, and I was beautiful. So what happened to the rest of the cupcakes? Pinkalicious, Daddy asked. Just then, Peter ran in and yelled, <gasps> Pinkaboo! Yay! Thanks for reading with Miss Hannah, guys. Have a great day.